Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday. It is August 1st, and this is going to be your first reading. There's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, so last night I was praying, and there was something laid on my heart that I definitely want to discuss. But this morning when I woke up, I prayed to the Holy Spirit and asked, you know, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And I did get a Bible verse, and I feel like I meant to read it to all of you because I feel that it pertains to all of you. So the Bible verse is Matthew, and it's chapter 5, and it starts at verse 3, and it says, Humble men are very fortunate. He told them, For the king kingdom of heaven is given to them. Those who mourn are fortunate, for they shall be comforted. The meek and lowly are fortunate, for the whole wide world belongs to them. Happy are those who long to be just and good, for they shall be completely satisfied. Happy are the kind and merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Happy are those whose hearts are pure, for they shall see God. Happy are those who strive for peace, they shall be called the sons of God. Happy are those who are persecuted because they are good, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. When you are reviled and persecuted and lied about because you are my followers, um, wonderful, be happy about it, be very glad, for a tremendous reward awaits you up in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets are, were persecuted too. You are the world's seasoning to make it tolerable. If you lose your flavor, what will happen to the world? And you, and you yourselves will be thrown out and tr trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the world's light, a city on a hill, glowing in the night for all to see. Don't hide your light. Let it shine for all. Let your good deeds glow for all to see so that they will praise your heavenly Father. That was a really important message I feel like I was meant to share. Um, people are going to persecute you. People are going to lie on your name. But you're here for a purpose. And he clearly says, you are here um, to make this world more tolerable. And it's your light. Don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't be in fear because people persecute you. Um, the other thing that was laid on my heart last night, and I've talked about it before, is regret. Regret is designed to draw our hearts closer to the Lord so that we will repent with a sorrowful heart. We will be truly sorry for what we have done. But when you repent, Jesus died on the cross to carry the burden of regret. He doesn't want us to continue to hold on to the regret of past mistakes when you have already repented. That's what he died on the cross for, to take that burden of regret and sin from you. So I want you to know the enemy will try to continually remind you of things you've already repented for because the enemy wants nothing more than for you to be in a sad energy, to lower your vibration because when you're in a low vibration, you're not much use to the world. You can't create. You can't spread your love and light when you're in the, the energy of sadness, regret, despair, sorrow. So when the enemy is trying to bring back memories, um, regret from things you've already repented from. Cry out to the Lord and ask the Lord to please take the burden of regret from you, and he will. So 333 three, three on my timer. That's what I was meant to say. So we're going to get started, guys. Um, I hope that whoever was meant to hear that hears it. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, the angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message um, for the greater good of the collective. And whoever is guided to this reading, I pray to the Holy Spirit for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, truth, and only truth. All right, I'm going to start, I think, with the wisdom of the oracle. Let's see, guys. Holy Spirit, holy angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors. What does the collective need to be aware of? I've also been called to read the Bible from front to back. I've never read it from front to back. I've only read it in parts, and I've been called to read it. So I'm going to start today uh, reading from the very beginning. Um, so I would encourage you all, if you feel, feel called, um, to start the journey of, of reading your Bible from front to back. All right, let's see, guys. Also, don't make these readings fit if they don't fit in your situation. It should never be a shocking surprise, anything that comes out. It should only validate what your higher self is already telling you. So, in other words, if something comes out where people are cyber-stalking you or bullying you, but 
this is a shock to you, this is something you don't already know, then it's probably not your message, guys. You need to use your discernment, okay? Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. What does the collective need to be aware of, please? The collective. Okay, so the first card out is why. This, for me, what I'm feeling on is you finding out the truth, you getting clarity on why you needed to go through certain experiences, how that serves your greater good and your path moving forward. I feel like this is the spiritual realm giving you a lot of clarity. Now, there can be karmic energies that are also asking themselves why did they do certain things, but I feel like this is more about you. Um, there is a change that's coming. This change is a positive change. This is the Ascended Masters card number 12 reduces to a three that are guiding you on this new path. This is creating a change in your luck with serendipity. This is good luck. Things are going to start aligning for you. There's been a lot of work put in. You've made a free will choice. Card number 42 reduces to a six. This was a choice that you made to put in this work to clean out, clean it up, remove people from your life. People, places, or things that were not aligned any longer. Lower vibrational energies. Um, underneath that, it's it's guiding you straight toward an abundant life. So, I'm going to go on with the Celtic Cross, guys. Let's just do the Celtic Cross now and see what we get. Whew. God putting you in your power. Queen of Wands, Hierophant. God guiding you toward your, your path, your purpose. God inspiring you to take passionate action towards something that you're destined to do. Wow. That's beautiful. All right. We all have a different path and purpose, but our objective is the same, each and every one of us. It's to love God, love ourselves, and love humanity. That is the objective for all. How, it, how that picture is painted for each person is different. But that is the objective. And my laptop is not cooperating. My internet. It's very weird, but whatever. All right. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit, Guides, and Ancestors. Current situation. Current situation. The Ace of Pentacles. You hold the gift. You hold the blessing. There are opportunities that are being divinely guided to you. This is stability. This is financial resources. This is a true blessing. That's beautiful. Holy Spirit, what is the challenge? What is the challenge? Somebody's challenged by your light. You are this star energy. You are this healer. You carry this light, just like the Bible verse. Don't be afraid to shine your light. People will ridicule. People will persecute. And that's okay. Shine your light. Someone... Or some people are they're challenged by your light because you've stepped into your destiny you will not you don't know any other way of existing now you just know that you are destined to do something and you're doing it all right what is the focus Holy Spirit what is the focus eight of cups in reverse somebody's focused on how they can return I know you guys, before you get upset in the comments, this is just in the energy. We can't control the intentions of other people. They may have the desire to return. That does not mean you have to accept them back. Of course not. All right, past, ener past energy. Wow, okay, just threw in the floor. Let's see, what, what was thrown in the floor, spirit? Huh. Two of Pentacles. Someone could have been juggling you. Someone, even if they weren't juggling you with another person, they created such an imbalance in your life in the past. This person created a nightmare for you. This was living hell for most of you. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, uh, just emotional abuse is what I feel. Emotional abuse. All right. Let's see your strength. Oh, sorry, guys. My eye is itching. Okay. What is the collective strength? My goodness, are they just throwing them today? Now I have to crawl under the desk, guys. All right. <sighs> you
your strength is you healed. By you healing, you, you came into alignment with the divine and you can't be touched. You can't be manipulated. You can't be swayed. You can't be uh, attacked and it have any effect because your healing did that for you. That's your strength. That's your superpower that you healed. Wow. All right. Near future for the collective. Near future. Ooh, I'm getting overheated now. Holy Spirit. All right. Please show me, um, Holy Spirit, near future. Near future. Please show me near future. Wow. One more. Okay, so we can see in the near future, there is a lot of deception and betrayal. Now, I don't believe this has anything to do with the collective. This is someone that's in your energy. This person is going to be deceived or betrayed. The person that's going to be deceived or betrayed is this Knight of Swords in reverse. This is someone that was ruthless, cruel. Um, they like to slander. They like to gossip. This is someone that's very devious, narcissistic in their energy. This person made a free will decision with the Two of Wands um, to take action upon you and but what's happening here because of this decision this person is going to experience this this horrible pain and suffering this is with a knight of cups on the fence this is a love bomber and gaslighter that's being blocked by the divine that's happening in the near future all right what advice do you have holy spirit they want you to know the season of pain, stress, anxiety, fear, sleepless nights is over. Knight of Swords in the reverse to the world. It's over. The cycle of suffering is over. You are taking your power back with the Queen of Wands. You've learned what you needed to learn and congratulations because it was a tough lesson. In the environment, please, Holy Spirit. In the environment. One more. So in the environment, we can see somebody cannot escape. Um, they may have been waiting, waiting for something to happen, but I get more of like moving on. They're not able to move on because the three of, of wands is in reverse. They're not able to move on. Um, this is somebody that is stuck, stagnant, two of swords. They're blocked. This is this cold and detached king of swords energy. Um, now, they could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but they don't have to. This is the energy of someone that is very cold. With the surrounding cards, like I said, this is someone that is could be emotionally abusive. This person is facing multiple endings, and this is what's being seen in the environment. Yeah, look at that. It's due to their, their devil energy, their toxicity. They have a lot of attachments, and they're, going, they're facing significant endings. All right, um, please show me... Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Wow, they're all coming in reverse. Wow. Yeah, look at this. This false emperor, this emperor that fell from grace that should have been a true leader um, through free will and, 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 the, and the decisions and actions that they've taken, they will not receive. Six of Pentacles in reverse, they will not receive. They will not. Again, they're facing endings. They're just clarifying who it is. This emperor in reverse is the same king of swords and the knight of swords in reverse. It's the same person. This is the energy they operate in. Control, dominance, abuse. Because of this energy, this person will not receive. This person could be losing financially, losing support. They're not going to receive whatever it is they think they're going to receive. All right. Potential outcome. Potential outcome, please. Yeah. And the same person, they're stressed out. They're overthinking. They're under judgment and carrying a heavy burden. Now, if this person, no matter what they have done to you or to anyone else, if they go to the Lord and they repent and they are truly sorry, they will be forgiven. They will be forgiven. 
Um, this is happening because they did a lot of things against an earth angel, someone that carried the light of God, someone that had a destined path and purpose. And this is the consequences for this person's actions. Let's see, guys, what else we get. And I say it all the time. This is God's mercy. If God uh, wasn't showing this person mercy, they would there would be no consequences in order to inspire them to repent. God would just leave them in their evilness and let them continue. But the consequences is mercy so that they will make the right decision when these consequences happen. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, please. In the current situation, we can see that you are having this, this new opportunity, um, this new beginning here. We can see that someone else is in this very dysfunctional marriage or home life. It's falling apart. And you have this King of Cups here. Now, I want to see who the King of Cups is. Who is this King of Cups, please? Oh, the King of Cups is someone now from your past that is drowning in emotion. They're very imbalanced. This could have been someone that juggled you. They're in deep regret because whatever they chose, they didn't see your gift and your blessing. Whatever they chose is falling apart. This person is very imbalanced emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, going through an ending. All right, let's see. The challenge is your light. Your light is the challenge. You have this healing energy, and people are challenged by it. Please clarify the star in the challenge position. Yeah, because you're free. You're free to shine your light. Yeah, see, you have this healer energy, and you are here for a purpose, and you are free to shine your light. You are not trapped. You are not stressed out. You know who you are and you know where you're going. And there are people that are jealous that want to create chaos and conflict. But it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect you. Um, the focus is, is this is all because somebody wants to return. That they're trying to project all of this energy. Please clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse on the focus. Yeah, see this is someone that wants to give you an offer. All right, past energy, someone could have juggled you. Someone created a significant imbalance in your life, past energy. Yeah, this person was the devil. This person was so toxic. They could have been codependent. They could have had addictions. They were dark and low vibrational. Your strength is you healed with the four of swords. Because you healed, you can no longer be manipulated. You can't be deceived. You're too high vibrational. Uh, Holy Spirit, please clarify the Four of Swords in the Strength position. Four of Swords, please. Yeah. Because of your healing, you are coming out as very grounded and stable, financially secure, or getting there. This strength, is it stemmed all from your healing. That's beautiful. Um, and now we can see in the near future, this knight of swords in reverse will be de deceived or betrayed because of their free will choices to come against you, to hurt you, to hurt others. This is someone that was a love bomber and gaslighter. This is someone that's used to emotionally manipulating people to get their way, and it's not working anymore. Now they are reaping uh, the reward for their actions, their just consequences, near future. Yeah, look at that. Because they came against a star. They tried to destroy a star to the high priestess. They tried to interfere with God's purpose in your life. They wanted to put your light out. This is exactly why they are going to go through these consequences. Yeah, you are this high priestess energy. Highly intuitive. You're God's baby, okay? Um, the advice, they said they want you to know that this cycle of pain, emotional abuse is over. It's done. Nine, nine of swords in reverse and the world. Cycle is closed. Advice. Yep. They want you to continue to love yourself. Continue um, to set boundaries. Continue to rely on your intuition. And they want you to know whoever 
caused hardships, pain, suffering in your life will be in deep regret because they will carry that burden. This is someone that's not repentant. This is someone that should have been a match to you, but they were not. They chose through free will to oppose you. They will carry the burdens of regret until they repent. All right. In the environment, someone can't move on. They're blocked. They're stuck. They're stagnant. This is this cold and detached masculine. And this is how it's seen in the environment. Holy Spirit. In the environment. Please clarify. In the environment. Yeah. And this emperor energy that fell from grace, um, they're seeing that they're going through an ending. A cycle is closing in their life. They're going through a massive ending. They're going to be abandoned or rejected or left in financial ruin or all of the above. That's how it's seen in the environment. Yeah. They're stuck, stagnant. They're blocked. Um, in the hopes and fears, this masculine that is a tyrannical energy, controlling, dominating, abusive, they are not going to receive. You know, oh, sorry. I thought that was Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> I still get caught up on these cards. They um, cannot move on. Six of Swords is moving on to peace. There will be no peace. They will not be able to move on. All right, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Tell me about this. Emperor reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. Yep, this is someone in your past. This is someone in your past. Um, clarify the Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're also afraid. They were this love bomber gaslighter, and they put in a lot of work to oppose you, and they're under judgment. They're afraid of their judgment. They're afraid of their karma. They know that you were a soulmate to them. They do, and still they played these mind games. They were abusive. All right. Let's see. Potential outcome. This person that we're speaking about, the Emperor in reverse, King of Swords, Knight of Swords in reverse. Again, they're stressed out because they're under judgment. This is someone, like I said, that will carry the burden of guilt until they repent. Until they speak the truth and they repent. Please clarify. Potential outcome. Please clarify the potential outcome. Yeah. They're saying that with the Two of Wands... You're planning for the future. You made your decision. You're moving on. And you're moving on to happiness and success. And you are protected. Divinely protected from this energy and any energy trying to oppose you. Yeah. It's causing a lot of stress, anxiety, and heartbreak because you are the empress. You have leveled up. And you're in your fate and destiny. What is meant for you? You are speaking your truth. This could be you having a platform where you expose the truth to help others. Justice is playing out, and you're moving on to peace with a new divine connection. Wow. I love it. All right, guys, we're going to go into part two. We're going to do another round, get some other um, advice messages. And um, so I'll see you on part two. I love you guys. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling for next week. And um, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. And for those of you that are Virgos out there, I do have a Virgo channel called The Gifted Dragonfly. I post there every single day. I love the channel, just like I love this channel. But if you're a Virgo and you want a Virgo-specific reading, please uh, go to YouTube and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you on part two. Bye-bye.